Hi, I'm Dr. Vidushi and in this video from Kota, Rajasthan, India, we demonstrate the implantation of a Hoya aspheric hydrophobic acrylic lens using their proprietary iCert uh, preloaded IOL injector. This is the Hoya iCert preloaded IOL injector system for implanting a hydrophobic acrylic IOL through a micro incision uh, through incisions of 2.5 mm or less. And this is the first such implantation of a Hoya preloaded IOL in India because these IOLs have now become available in the Indian market only recently. Hoya was the first company to launch a preloaded IOL in the US market. After that, there have been many other preloaded IOLs and the use of preloaded injector systems has been shown to reduce the risk of contamination as well as to reduce the incidence of various kind of toxic syndromes and any damage to the IOL during implantation. And as you can see here, this is a routine phaco emulsification being performed. Uh, we prefer to use a dispersive viscoelastic like viscoat to coat the corneal endothelium uh, routinely for all our phaco emulsification surgeries. This is a standard capsular excess being done, followed by the hydro steps. This is the phaco emulsification. The nucleus here is moderately hard. And after the nuclear management, we do an irrigation aspiration and clean the capsular back completely. Now this is the Hoya injector, the preloaded IOL system or the ICERT with the uh, label for the IOL indicating the power etc. After confirming the power for this particular patient, these, ta these tabs on the sides are pressed and a cover which protects the IOL is removed as shown here. Viscoelastic is injected into the uh, infusion port. It has to be injected in a direction perpendicular to the injector taking care not to touch the IOL inside with the tip of the cannula that is being used to inject viscoelastic. As seen here, this is the viscoelastic being injected and there are dotted lines on the front and the back. The viscoelastic has to be filled right up to these dotted lines on the two sides. Once the viscoelastic has been uh, put through the infusion port, we then remove the injector from its protective covering and advance the IOL within the injector taking care to see that the haptic is properly tucked and then this preloaded folded IOL is implanted into the capsular bag as seen here. The delivery of the IOL is very smooth, slow, predictable and as seen here the IOL has been very well folded and goes straight into the capsular bag without any problems and this is the IOL very well placed and centered within the capsular bag. After the IOL implantation, the viscoelastic is removed from the capsular bag, especially from under the IOL and the result as you can see is extremely satisfying. So as we all know, the use of preloaded IOLs is useful to avoid any damage to the IOL optic or haptic during the process of implantation which can occur with the use of holder folder systems and also with the use of injectors where a separate cartridge is used to place the IOL and fold the IOL and also to avoid the risk of any contamination by avoiding the handling of IOL completely as the IOL comes packaged in the sterile preloaded injector. So our experience with the uh, first uh, available uh, Hoya preloaded IOLs has been very good since they have become available now in the Indian market and uh, extremely satisfied with the results. Thank you.